Good morning. Be welcome. Now is the lecture Frege at a crossroad towards a non formalistic history of logic. Professor Claude Amber, Ecole Normale Superior. Thank, Thank you very much, Professor. Pourtant, uh, I just repeat what has been told and uh, felt by every one of us, hmm? the uh, intellectual quality of the colloquium hmm? and also the free and atmosphere, free and lay atmosphere hmm? of the debates and uh, of uh, all the time we shared and we shall share uh, also today. So warm thanks, uh, warm thanks uh, from the art. Hmm? Yes. Hmm? Um, before uh, entering uh, the, 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 the purpose, uh, the core uh, of my presentation today, uh, let me uh, add uh, two introductive notes. Uh, sorry, my English is not as fluent as I should like it to be. <laughs> well, when uh, I received last week the program of our conference, I noted that the title I proposed for my presentation had been modified, uh, uh, and uh, the second one, mm, a non-formalist history uh, of logic, being, I confess, more provocative and uh, attuned to a former book I published, Pour une histoire de la logique, which I published uh, some decades ago. Mm. So, as the second title fits with the consequences of my two-day paper, and at it confirms the main lines uh, uh, of the book, I thank the organizers for their clarifying perspicuity, and I adopt the suggestion as a subtitle. So, mm -hmm. Frege at a crossroad, towards a non-formalist history of logic. Mm. Uh, before beginning, I choose to insist on the core of my argument. Gottlob Frege was led to clarify his own choices, mm, and which remained implicit in his first publications. Mm not only to get a clearer consciousness of these choices, but also to assume the consequences of a problem he had inherited from ghosts and consequently enlarged. No. Mm. Uh, if time is left, I am not sure. Uh, if time is left, I shall come back on two different questions which are implied in that uh, general formula towards a non-formalist history of logic. Hmm? Because it implies two different questions. Hmm? Uh, first question, is logic formal by definition and why? And second question, hmm? um, what would be a non-formalist history of logic if not a lot of performative conditions and responsibilities? Which means hmm, not taking as a paradigm is uh, a classical moment, let it be Aristotle, uh, scholasticism, uh, Kant, or uh, even uh, Frege, hmm, or Quine, or whatever you wish. Hmm? or a 
constant defiance against language as if we possessed something best, which is exactly our today challenge and concern that we don't possess something best. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, of course, that is not at all a deconstructive attitude for my part, hmm, but hmm, uh, the indications of new responsibilities facing our intellectual, philosophical endeavor today. Um, <coughs> Me one, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm finished with my introduction. Hmm. Near one, uh, it works? Thank you. Near one century uh, after Frege's death, time must come to reconsider both his logical legacy and the impact of his achievement on our today understanding of what is a logic, including the branch of its recent uh, algorithmic development. Hmm? And most important for us, we have to understand uh, how it affected our understanding of what is a language, let it be by revealing a stratification of functions we are now just in state to sort out. An overview of those years of invention, beginning at the turning of 1920th century till the end of the Second World War, sets a background on which consequences, which are, to my mind, instrumental to any today philosophical and the heavier stand out. One of Frege's singularity, maybe his paradoxical attitude, his opposition to formalism and the production of what he called a formula language, whose syntactical precision seduced Gödel less than a century after the first version of the Griff Drift 1979 uh, was published. Mm. He was recognized as the initiator of uh, mathematical logic. I refer to the Harvard uh, handbook um, uh, to, um, from Frege to Gödel, which has been published by uh, a team, uh, Van Eyck, Genort, uh, Quine, and Driven. Mm -hmm. A source book in mathematical logic. So, the specification of uh, mathematical logic and its effective writing, step by step, has been by itself a philosophical event. Maybe first of all, because Mathematics itself required uh, a logic. So like it's a way. Hmm? It is not enough to let us set at abacus and calculus. Hmm? Calculus himself requires hmm, to be uh, resolved. Hmm? Uh, it was all the more disturbing that Frege himself, all along his career, in his published writings, as well in the Narlas, in his letters and documented testimonies, manifested an unceasing worry about his own production. Till the last days, he came back on the notion of a concept writing, which he modified in its content and in its status. Always asking, but what did I do? What did I do? Huh? Um, uh, by the way, his hesitation bearing on uh, assertions, uh, judgment, object, uh, applied to uh, Kant's logic of judgment, and as I shall say, threatened the most recent versions of any phenomenological stance. So, against Kant, against phenomenology, a huge issue indeed. He knew 
let it be as a looming dissatisfaction that he was at the crossroad. On one side, through Kant, Frege questioned the strategy and consequences of what I felt uh, uh, obliged to encapsulate under a new concept I shall explain, philosophical Galileism. Hmm? And on the other side, uh, he wants to assume and to understand what he had done. Hmm? The invention of quantification theory, which, uh, 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 as you know, Hassan, uh, Russell's version of analytical philosophy and its further versions, we are yet now discussed. I just refer to Wittgenstein, Austin, Kader, and, and so on. Hmm? As well as a new interest for 19th century American pragmatism. It also attested the emergence of a graphic intelligence. I insist, graphic intelligence, which today is not the least consequence of a process engaged with Frege's cryptic notions of a concept writing, Begretschrift. Hmm? Frege did experiments. First, these latent consequences, hmm, uh, but as a clash, as a brutal antinomy, he did not disentangle on the spot. Not even did he exactly spot the error. Although he was able to write it down in the terms and syntax of his second but erroneous versions of Begriftiv. This filler was followed by a long period of perplexity, but not of despair. The words with which Frege entrusted his unpublished essays to his son-in-law, I quote, not everything in gold, but there is gold in it, confirm both a discontent and the awareness that he was at a point of non-return. Hence, the three moments of this presentation, first I come back on the third, on the three uh, 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 moments of Frege productions, not one Begriffsrift, but three, three Begriffsrifts. Hmm? Uh, second, I shall uh, left aside the real mathematical consequences and a story we all know uh, from a theory of the extension of concept to a, a axiomatic set theory. I shall not speak of that, but but I shall insist on the uh, philosophical uh, um, uh, consequences. And third, I try to put. Uh, in a nutshell, the consequences for us today. So first, a bit of patience for the first part, because as uh, briefly as possible, I must enter some technical mm, disposition of the uh, uh, concept writing uh, of Freire mm, and its uh, mere uh, logical aspect. First, maybe everything uh, here. Yes, just the title. Uh, the title, uh, you see, what a so long title. Hmm? Hmm? The Schrift. Hmm? Uh, it is not clear. Hmm. Eine der arithmetischen nahgebildete Formelsprache des reinen Denkens. Hmm? Uh, 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 all along this presentation, the only, my, my only uh, 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 thread line hmm, uh, will be to stick to the words of Frank. Hmm? First, hmm, a begrief schrift. Hmm? Um, uh, uh, is it possible to uh, jump from a thought notion, a begrief, hmm, to its exact writing, which means as is uh, uh, explained after, not hmm, a, a, a wording of it, hmm, not a wording of it. So uh, outside of our uh, vernacular sprache. 
eine der arithmetischen gebildeten Formelsprache. Be very attentive. Hm? Uh, Formelsprache is not formale Sprache. It must be translated as formula language and not formal language. Hmm? Uh, you know, I had to fight hmm, to, 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 to put hmm, uh, 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 French reader the nose on the text. Hmm? They had the text under the eye and they read for, for, formal discourse, hmm? Hmm? formalism. No, he wrote formal Sprache. And it is the reason why it had to be uh, 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 preside. Eine der arithmetischen Nargebildete. So, something which, from the start, huh, uh, presents it, it, uh, itself as borrowing something of arithmetic, nevertheless correcting it. Hmm? So it was... Uh, double game with uh, the effective arithmetical writing. Uh, I shall uh, uh, come back on that point, which is very, uh, very important, as if we are in medias res. We are in medias. Although we would be so uh, happy to write directly the concept, no? we are ob obliged to negotiate, to negotiate and to enter into history, even uh, anthropology, mm, of uh, uh, our use of arithmetical science. Mm? This Reinen Denkens, and here is the paradox. Mm? So, uh, uh, we, 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 we uh, uh, borrow from long traditions of written arithmetics, but mm, we wish to, to uh, cope with Reinen Denkens, Reinen Denkens. Here, mm, two uh, most important uh, implicit allusions. Of course, it is a direct allusion to Kant. Not pure reason. Nobody knows what is pure reason. Mm? Mm. But Reinen Denkens, um, uh, uh, what, uh, wh what we do effectively when we speak. Mm? So, uh, uh, he was in, uh, uh, in French, I should say, on coquetry with Descartes. Hmm? 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 Uh, you thought you, you uh, 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 were in the midst of uh, Rhine and Denkens. Uh, not so much, not so much. Hmm? Um, uh, um, uh, 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 I, I uh, uh, also uh, uh, just, uh, and of course it was an allusion to the writing of uh, arithmetic in equations. Which, which has been a trap, a dangerous trap for Frege, as we see in just a moment. Uh, 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 by the way, uh, you will see uh, that sticking to Frege's word is very, very uh, useful because he was a marvelous writer. Uh, uh, I would say a great artist of uh, German language. Arithmetician uh, Nargebildet. Uh, first, uh, with a reference to arithmetic, it is a reference, of course, of his own master, or near uh, master, because uh, Frege uh, was sent from Jena to Göttingen, to write his dissertation in the school of, uh, of, of uh, 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 Gauss. Uh, Gauss, hmm, Princeps Arithmeticorum, hmm, Princeps Arithmeticorum, and the one who had in mind to, uh, arithmet to um, uh, uh, arithmetize all the domain of uh, mathematics. And you know that uh, Riemann wrote his dissertation and uh, 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 under Gauss, and so it was the arithmetization of geometry in a way. Hmm? And uh, it is uh, also in Göttingen that, um, uh, uh, in, in following the path of Gauss, Dedekind wrote his famous essay, Was sind und sollen die sollen? Hmm? What are and must be uh, numbers? Hmm? So, 
uh, an extension of numbers, so it was able to cope with Gauss program. And uh, third, not the least, uh, Gauss uh, was uh, uh, directly opposed to Kant uh, uh, notion of uh, 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 synthetic uh, a priori uh, judgment, mm, uh, especially on the problem of uh, addition. Seven pl plus five equals 12 mm, does not require um, uh, uh, a synthesis and uh, to be encapsulated under a paradigm of time, some uh, schematism uh, of time. Mm. It was a challenge. It was a challenge. And um, uh, it is uh, every contemporary reader of Frege understood the allusion to the uh, challenge between uh, Kant and uh, Gauss. Huh? Uh, uh, that is no problem. Huh? And uh, uh, some words of uh, Nargebildet, a very finally chosen word because uh, you have uh, uh, inside uh, uh, now Bilden, hmm, uh, the notion of Bilden, uh, which is, uh, uh, as you, you German know better than I do, uh, the idea of an image, uh, but also of uh, uh, something I, I, I produce, uh, uh, a production. Uh, a, a, a production mm, um, uh, uh, that which, which has been uh, developed by the uh, romantic um, uh, school uh, to which I come in just a moment. Mm. So, well, uh, that is for the uh, title, uh, uh, which is which has in itself uh, a whole program. Mm. The M, Buggery Street. Mm. So escape uh, language, uh, uh, natural language, or any uh, wording uh, language with all its uh, specific uh, uh, values, and uh, to uh, answer the challenge with a formula language of pure uh, thinking. Well, in the first pages <coughs> of uh, his uh, essay, Frege um, uh, 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 explained that, in fact, the only is only borrowing from uh, arithmetician language was the use of letters. But does not give any explication more, huh? because in a written language. Uh, in a word, uh, word uh, written uh, language uh, usual, mm, uh, coming from uh, our uh, alphabetization, <laughs> there are only letters. Mm. So there is a kind of uh, covert paradox in it. Mm. Mm. I just take mm, the letters. Uh, and uh, my, my uh, uh, bet uh, here that uh, it, it costed to Frege half a century of meditation to understand what he did when borrowing letters. The first answer is inside the Begrif Schrift. As you will see in just a moment, I give you the image, very uh, 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 tricky expression with three, uh, uh, three ranges of letters, mm, German letters, um, uh, 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 Greek letters, uh, and uh, uh, Roman letters, Oof. Mm. Mm. Uh, and uh, encapsulated in a very syntactical uh, form. But don't stay. Mm. Mm. I, I take the use of letters. And it is only, mm, just to, to give you an idea of my presentation, in his last unfinished fragment, the fragment of a force, um, uh, logical investigation dated 1973 and he died just after uh, that Frege disclosed what was the use of letters. Uh, here is a smoking gun. Uh, well, so mm, it was the first presentation, uh, my first presentation of the, of the uh, problem. Uh, 
Uh, now, yes, now some, uh, 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 some uh, notes on the strength rising of the French, which surprised everyone, which surprised everyone. He, 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 he said, um, I, I imitated arithmetical writing. Did you ever sing something like in the long story of arithmetic? No. Hmm? no. First. Second, it is a very uh, strange uh, uh, construction which uh, received immediately and uh, long hmm, uh, a lot of answers. F first, Schroeder's answer. Ah, what is that kind of Japanese writing? Hmm? Hmm. Uh, just uh, uh, to be rejected. Hmm? Uh, I note that um, uh, uh, there is uh, something striking for the eye. It is, uh, l l there is a sort of uh, fractal composition. Fractal composition, I mean that you can always uh, insert a, a, a small cell <laughs> inside uh, and uh, it grows by a strange way of insertion. And uh, with a, a kind of density, uh, in between two formulas, you can always think of uh, another formula which uh, uh, integrates uh, the uh, precedent. There is something seducing, cryptic, but uh, seducing. And, uh, I, I go on. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, then, when he will introduce uh, what we now call quantification, uh, it was inserted hmm, uh, in that first graphic, uh, very uh, important, uh, the uh, anatomy of Frank, uh, thinking. And now we understand better that uh, his writing, uh, instead of being uh, uh, on one line, is on two dimension. Hmm? We don't know why two dimension, because then people objected, uh, modern people objected, that now we may write a quantification expression hmm, uh, on, 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 on one line. Nevertheless, Frege was the first to indicate that uh, uh, there are two components. Hmm? Uh, a, a, a propositional component hmm, on which we insert, uh, on which we uh, insert, uh, let us say, the, the, the functional component or the real big riff uh, uh, content, the, beyond, uh, the real big riff content. And so I, I, it was, since the beginning, um, uh, a, a problem. Frege says, I wish to give you a Bugriff shrift, mm, direct writing uh, uh, of Bugriff. And nevertheless, and, and I reject uh, 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 vernacular sprache, and nevertheless, mm -hmm, I need a kind of propositional dimension and uh, of um, uh, uh, a propositional uh, uh, which uh, reflects the order of a proof, mm, and then I insert, mm, I insert the uh, belief in art, the real belief in art, the functional uh, in art on, on, on uh, 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 lines which uh, branch on the vertical dimension. And at that time, he spoke of the necessity of a two-dimensional uh, writing. He says the two dimension of the page, uh, not the two dimension of space. Uh, the two dimension of the space, uh, uh, he could not explain why. He could not uh, explain uh, why. And uh, we shall see later on some more uh, complicated expressions. I go on. Hmm? Well, that kind of branching, uh, was so uh, powerful that it was retained by Wittgenstein to write, to put in order his own tractatus. You know, uh, that is what we, we called, uh, it is a very well-known uh, algebraic uh, order, alpha numerical order. Hmm? 
there is now an algebra of that uh, uh, alpha numerical order. Hmm? And uh, uh, what does it mean? That between one and two, you may always uh, insert one, one, uh, uh, one, two, uh, one, three, and you may also insert one, 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 two, uh, one. Hmm? So see, uh, it reflects uh, that fractal composition hmm, I noted on the graphic. On, on the uh, graphic. So uh, richness, hmm, uh, 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 it means that the proof or the narration or the philosophical meditation or what you wish hmm, does not develop <laughs> in a single order, hmm, but it has hmm, to insert as it development, comment, uh, enrichment. Hmm, uh, um, uh, lateral, uh, lateral uh, 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 elements. I, f uh, uh, Wittgenstein, uh, you know, uh, you must know, I guess, uh, that it is uh, Frege who sent uh, Wittgenstein to Russell, and when Wittgenstein uh, uh, came back each year from uh, Cambridge to Vienna, he met Frege, hmm, and till the death of Frege, they had a constant, constant conversation. Hmm. Uh, Wittgenstein sent uh, just after the First World War, his tractatus to Frege to be published, but it was uh, the times of after war, and uh, Frege could not find money to publish it. <coughs> hmm? And so it was le uh, Russell who later uh, uh, published uh, the tractatus. Hmm? And you know, of course, the dedication. Huh? I dedicate this uh, tractatus to my friend Russell, and to the great Frege. Hmm? Hmm. No, no, no equivocation. Hmm? Hmm. No. And um, uh, 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 a precision. Hmm? Um, uh, the uh, decimal uh, numbers uh, don't uh, 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 only use as uh, enumeration. They uh, indicate logical weight, hmm? the proposition, hmm? and uh, at the end, uh, what is the logical weight? Hmm? At the end of the tractatus, as you know, it is what I have said now is nothing. So the log logical weight also, surely not. Hmm? So uh, there is a point of uh, interrogation point on what is a logical weight, hmm, which is uh, not uh, 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 effective argumentative one, which is not uh, an assertion of the world, uh, uh, an assertion of uh, uh, philosophical truth. Hmm? Which, nothing, nothing at all. Nevertheless, absolutely necessary, and the whole substance of tractatus. Yes, and uh, also, when uh, 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 one of the specificities of that uh, alphanumerical order is that it has gaps. Of course, I would be very glad to tell just uh, uh, after four, uh, four one, hmm, but I can't. And you see that. Uh, uh, the distance, or the logical uh, distance between proposition force, der Gedanke is der Sinn von Satz, and uh, uh, our Sprache, the given to us by der Satz, is the Sprache two, two zero, hmm? four zero zero and one. Hmm? And second, man uh, process the faculty. Faculty uh, to construct languages mm, uh, mm, uh, through which uh, it is possible to express uh, every meaning mm, without any enigmatic how and what uh, and what each word means. Mm. Uh, Manuscript. 
a sphinx results in middle wing and uh, how the uh, light, the, the, the sound uh, uh, would be produced. Uh, the usual vernacular, uh, vernacular language is a part that's, uh, the, uh, of the uh, uh, human uh, organism and as complex as is this uh, organism. Uh, it is uh, humanly impossible uh, uh, to uh, get immediately uh, the uh, logic of this uh, human, object, human uh, speaker. Uh, and so you see how uh, uh, using a uh, Freudian strategy for exposition, uh, Wittgenstein uh, uh, immediately sorts out of the tractatus the whole, uh, the whole volume, uh, the, the, uh, the quite the totality of our today problems. I just give it uh, as in, uh, uh, an, uh, an indication uh, to give you the kind of problem I wish to tackle with you today. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. uh, 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 let us uh, uh, give from the beginning, uh, because it is the background of, of my argument. Mm -hmm. I, I don't wish to enter to uh, tricky notions of uh, uh, fragile notions of uh, uh, quantification, but give you a, a more uh, wide idea. Was it so new? Was it so new? I am not sure. I am not sure. Please, hmm, the, the necessity to use hmm, uh, uh, properties of expla explanation which has neither geometry hmm, nor uh, hermeneutics, <laughs> comments and comments and comments and comments, hmm, but uh, inside the way of expression, uh, a possibility <coughs> to tackle with the problem of the relation between the grief and, 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 and uh, 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 reality uh, uh, through uh, discourses. Here you have what you all know, mm, uh, Kant's uh, 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 leading thread. Mm, 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 how the functions of judgment, uh, the logical function of judgment did uh, induce or support the deductions of the categories and the concepts uh, of the uh, under, under, uh, understanding. Hmm? Well, maybe I am confused, but I have been very, very attentive. Nowhere in the critique of pure reason did Kant explain that strange disposition. Hmm? He could have done that in only. Why that uh, 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 I, I don't know uh, the word in English, losange disposition hmm, for headings. Um, and it is uh, as a magnetic, uh, 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 magnetic uh, force which uh, uh, inhabits the rule critical uh, uh, work of Kant. You find it in the Critic of Pure Reason, you find it in the Critic of Judgment, you find it in a uh, last uh, essay on the progress of metaphysics uh, in Leibniz. It was absolutely the core of Kant exposition. And you know also that uh, he wished uh, that uh, the first, his first writings were not uh, republ uh, republished and uh, he insisted to the uh, publication of his critical work. Hmm? And it was absolutely the point of departure and the point of reference for 19 European philosophy. Uh, in, in, in Germany, of course, but in France also. Hmm? In France also, through so Brunswick and uh, and uh, uh, why this? Hmm? Hmm? Could you explain? I cannot. 
If not, referring to uh, a text of the uh, uh, anthropology from a pragmatic point of view, when Frege says, it is very curious how people, since long, use combination of four and three. And here you have just a kind of combination of four and three. Four times three. So there is a kind of uh, uh, cryptic allusion to uh, anthropological disposition. So I go on. Well, uh, uh, here um, it is in French, I am sorry, but it comes from the prolegoma, uh, pro prolegomena where you see how that uh, uh, table was transmitted from logic to concepts to uh, 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 any possible principle for a science of nature. Huh? So a confirmation of what I told, a kind of magnetic field, huh? which uh, uh, like the constellation. Huh? Two things, uh, I admire two things, huh? the constellation in the skies and the moral law. Huh? Yes. Huh? But I now wish to show you a very famous and interesting uh, map by a uh, uh, Hollandish uh, geograph, hmm? Celarius, Celarius, marvelous uh, uh, maps. Uh, marvelous, uh, we, we have now, um, it has been republished, a marvelous collection of Celarius maps. Hmm? And here you have Copernician scenographia, a Copernician scenographia. And what do you see in that uh, uh, Copernician scenographia? Uh, well, hmm, that, uh, mm, mm, uh, of course, hmm, mm, it, it was published, so it had to be correct. Hmm. Here, mm, the, uh, the, the, um, uh, 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 scientifically correct, uh, and it was in the Netherlands, so no problem. Mm. Uh, the sun is in the center, but uh, mm, it is as a face, mm, and you see very well here, I, I, it is uh, uh, evident to the eye that you can also put the earth in the center, and, uh, and the sun turning uh, around, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it is not different. Hmm? It is not different if the, the Earth or the um, uh, 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 Sun is in the center. So you have, of course, the uh, Copernician, uh, Coper an image of the uh, Copernician uh, um, uh, revolution. Hmm? Uh, just if you limit yourself hmm, uh, to that relation between Earth and Sun. Hmm? Hmm? So a very uh, limited image of a Newtonian uh, situation between two bodies. The problem of three bodies was too complicated, but the problem of two bodies could be uh, explained through uh, that uh, mapping. Hmm? Uh, here you have an expanded representation of the of the of the of the uh, of the uh, planisphérium uh, universum. Mm -hmm. And there, of course, uh, the sun is in, in, in the center. Uh, uh, there is no problem. But in a, a limited view, uh, sorry, uh, I shall leave that. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, in a limited view, or oh, I come back to the, uh, yes, uh, limited view, uh, you, 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 you are here at the core of the Copernican revolutions. Hmm? Hmm? And uh, 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 I guess it is not uh, uh, it is not um, uh, uh, without hmm, an echo in the disposition of uh, In the this one, in, in uh, you, you have the, the poor, uh, the, the full uh, determination, huh? and so uh, I, I wish to just to uh, uh, indicate that uh, 
always in a logical position, hmm, in logical determination, there is something of a, 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 a graphic uh, uh, evidence hmm, to be to be retained. Huh? Uh, I have some documents on the Greeks, but uh, uh, I think that uh, time. Uh, um, uh, will miss and uh, I leave uh, those comments uh, for later uh, if you wish. Hmm? I have also Greek graphics uh, who testify uh, of the same uh, and, and the text. Hmm? So uh, that was the background uh, uh, on which I uh, uh, had to insist just uh, uh, before beginning uh, my uh, presentation. Hmm? Well, now just uh, uh, some uh, notes on the uh, three uh, moments uh, of uh, Frege, uh, uh, Frege uh, publication. Hmm? The three, um, the three uh, dates: first, uh, 1879, uh, uh, Begriff Trift, uh, 19. Uh, 93 and uh, no, uh, 1893 and 1903, uh, the two editions of the second Berlin Shrift, and uh, then uh, those uh, logical uh, investigations. Well, uh, but now to the core uh, of the of the of the problem, what was the difference between the first version, the second version, and the third versions? Huh? In the third versions, there are uh, 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 mm, uh, 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 imports in the core of the Begriffschrift, and there are some remarks in the preface and uh, uh, long uh, introductions. Huh? I separate the two. Huh? Uh, in, th in the core of the, uh, in, uh, 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 on the volume, uh, Frege introduces two more notations which were uh, able to fulfill the program of a brief shrift, huh? writing the concepts. So in the kind of epistemology of a conceptual attitude, of course. So notation for concepts, functions, and notations for objects. Huh? Notation for objects. Huh? And uh, the idea that uh, a, a, a new law, the law five in the um, uh, presentation, which uh, connect concepts and objects, which was not uh, in the uh, first uh, version of the Begriffschrift. The famous uh, law five who says, hmm, if two concepts, hmm, uh, 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 um, I had better to write it, but uh, I, I have no. <laughs> it means if for every x, f, x, and if for uh, 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 every x, j, x, so the extension of concept f and the con extension of concept b are one and the same. And to express that law, huh? Frege uh, uh, used the sign of identity as it had been defined in some articles, huh? you have two meanings different who indicate the same object. So a very classical phenomenological attitude. Huh? Huh? What we wish, we wish to know what is what. Huh? It comes from Aristotle. Please be attentive. Um, uh, uh, poetics, uh, chapter four. Why do men like to imitate? Because they like to recognize. They are so and quiet. They wish to be so and so. T S T T. Now I know. So there is a kind of uh, anthropological angst uh, to know uh, uh, what uh, uh, the things are. Uh, and it was the core uh, or the uh, uh, background of N.A. Uh, doctrine of intentionality, of phenomenology. Hmm? Well, the problem, that phenomenal again, is to try to describe 
but appear. But why? Huh. To recognize. Huh? If not, you would have no interest. Uh, because uh, 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 there is a kind of uh, 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 human angst to know what is what. Hmm? And so now you see uh, another uh, anthropological background. We cannot eliminate. Hmm? We cannot eliminate. Hmm? If uh, we wish to, to give sense to uh, more than 20th century of phenomenological attitude. And that phenomenological attitude was also hmm, uh, honored hmm, and inherited by Frege in the Law 5, which was hmm, the stumbling stone and the uh, occasion of the antinomy. I shall not borrow you with a repetition of the uh, Russell antinomy, but uh, here is the core of the problem, of the core of the problem. And so, you see, Frege, when uh, uh, putting in action hmm, uh, uh, his own program, hmm, completed hmm, with the famous articles uh, uh, um, in between first Begulung Street and second Begulung Street, and which explain uh, that a function is a concept, hmm, that uh, 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 we can uh, maintain the relation function and object, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and so on. All that apparatus which defines the first analytical philosophy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which has at the core of Russell versions of analytical philosophy, mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. exactly uh, 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 at the uh, uh, Condensed, uh, uh, encapsulated in the second version of the Bugri script and the clash, uh, the occasion of the clash. Uh, so uh, you see, uh, 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 a compromission uh, with Kant and a compromission with uh, a classical uh, Aristotle uh, or phenomenological attitude. Uh, we wish to recognize uh, 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 our thinking is intentional, intentionality clashed, suddenly clashed, uh, all together. And Frege uh, uh, couldn't take it. He knew, yes, yes. Mm. And uh, you, uh, uh, you, you know his formulas, uh, uh, my only consolation is uh, everywhere, is uh, in the same, in the same uh, uh, state, in the same state. Mm. <coughs> Russell also had the graph. Uh, well, uh, I, I, but, but, in the preface, there was a very strange notion uh, introduced in, in the context of a mathematical work. Hmm? Uh, Frege uh, told, but uh, what are my propositions? Hmm? A kind of indirect language, indirect language. And what is the property of an indirect language? Hmm? It is that uh, uh, it is a report, hmm? and what is reported hmm, uh, is not true or false. The assertion is in suspense. Hmm? Uh, uh, either the door is open, or uh, I, I tell to you, John told me that the door is open. In the first case, uh, you must check if it is open or not. In the second uh, case, that is not the question. Mm. What is important is the information that has been given, and then we see if it is true or false. Mm. 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 And he, yet, mm, uh, he, he in the same context, uh, you have the permanence of a classical epistemological uh, attitude, mm. uh, phenomenological stance defined since the Greeks. Mm and the relation concept and object which encapsulated that epistemological attitude in Kant, in the notion of experience, uh, a clash, and yet, but, but, what to do for a mathematician with that notion of indirect language? Hmm? 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 Uh, a poetic notion, a uh, discursive notion? Hmm? Hmm? I, I left it aside, hmm? nevertheless, uh, my time is uh, short, we must uh, go on. I note that in the uh, 
quite the same time because uh, if if we consider the modifications in our relation to language, it is always very slow, huh? and two or three decades uh, don't matter. Uh, don't matter. Huh? That notion of indirect language uh, had been uh, introduced by Proust as the most important in uh, uh, literary history. You know his uh, homage uh, article, two versions of the same article on Flaubert achievement. Hmm? First version before the First World War, second version just after the First World War. So in, in those years, hmm? um, the best that Flaubert did is using indirect language, hmm? a kind of indirect language. Hmm? Because it does not describe things, it describes what uh, the personage uh, have in mind. Hmm? And so uh, they are not images of reality to be tested as false or real, but hmm, you are enter, uh, un entering that world uh, of uh, uh, thinking. Hmm? And what is important, it is that it was inside vernacular language, not uh, uh, despising of natural language, we are inside, hmm? uh, but um, a way, a way hmm, to uh, to uh, a way out hmm, of that natural attitude of recognizing true or false, hmm, hmm, real or unreal, hmm, our angst, our angst and philosophical and phenomenological uh, angst. Hmm. Um, uh, uh, well, no, uh, later on, on, on that, uh, I later on that, on that, on that point. Hmm? Well, uh, 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 you see, uh, 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 what is always uh, important in Frege that you have one version and mm, uh, a possibility of alternative, which has been uh, left aside, uh, left uh, aside uh, uh, as uh, yet in Beuvry Schrift, of course, borrowing from arithmetic, uh, but uh, a very mm, uh, strange uh, uh, way of uh, turning uh, arithmetics. And uh, now, mm, an effective language mm, conform to the most common epistemological rules, mm, and nevertheless, a way out. Mm. Well, now I, 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 I come uh, uh, back uh, on the notion I just alluded to uh, in my presentation, uh, 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 focusing now on the identification between concept and function, mm, which uh, has been, mm, uh, of course, uh, uh, the, the uh, key to uh, first analytical philosophy. And for us, uh, readers of Frege, uh, uh, a kind of delivery when we have read the article Concept and Function. Mm? Mm? Uh, it was possible to, uh, uh, to find a, a, a solution uh, uh, between uh, mathematical thinking and <coughs> conceptual thinking. And of course, uh, uh, it comes back to a very productive period of philosophy uh, uh, which was also uh, in the focus of, uh, later uh, in the focus of Husserl, as you know, between Descartes and, 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 and uh, Kant, and which I call uh, um, uh, philosophical Galileism. Why? Because you know that uh, the main problem, hmm, which uh, 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 was at the core of Galilea, Galileo uh, condemnation was a proposition which is uh, inside uh, the two uh, dialogues, hmm? um, uh, um, at the end of which, uh, uh, as a consequence of which uh, Galileo was uh, condemned, uh, uh, telling that, asserting that nature is written in mathematical sign. And so, hmm, uh, uh, exit scholasticism, exit scholasticism, hmm, 
all the categories and uh, hierarchy of uh, transcendental uh, concepts and notions, no more use, no more use. Huh? Because nature is written uh, uh, and, and breathing uh, your, your wording <coughs> hmm, in uh, mathematical science. And then hmm, the philosophical problem has been the conciliation between uh, um, the way we cope with nature, now from Galilee on, on, Galileo on with uh, mathematical science, uh, and the way we, we, we speak in philosophy with concepts. Hmm? And there are two solutions, as you know, I shall not enter the details, uh, 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 Descartes' solution hmm? and Kant uh, on Kant solutions, hmm? Descartes solution, which is explained in the method and justified in the meditations. Hmm? As long as uh, uh, you, uh, you, you, your uh, uh, discourse and ideas uh, do respect uh, mathematical evidence, uh, God allows you hmm, to speak that way. Uh, it was, of course, a, a, a clever uh, uh, solution to the threatening uh, of uh, scholasticism. Mm. Uh, Kant, uh, some decades ago, <laughs> uh, some decades after, and after uh, Newton, uh, and after Newton, uh, had no, and in uh, German uh, territories, had no to respect such. Uh, uh, negotiations um, to, to uh, habilitate uh, the use of um, uh, functions instead uh, of concepts. Uh, um, uh, it was not uh, threatened. Uh, nevertheless, uh, the problem was uh, the problem was to uh, 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 habilitate. Uh, uh, judgment of experience and a judgment of experience had to respect hmm, uh, the, the, the reality of uh, uh, what is uh, experience. And you all know that he, he chose to define, to, to, to find a negotiation uh, between uh, uh, logical, classical, scholastic determination, Aristotelian determination of logic with concept, not in the way uh, of Descartes, hmm, uh, but uh, by uh, the, uh, the use of the three uh, tables of the leading thread, thread and putting the concepts in dependence of the uh, um, uh, discourses. And uh, of course, the main contribution of Kant is here in the table of uh, concept where uh, 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 the functions of judgment hmm, do uh, habilitate, habilitate a Newtonian uh, concept for phonomy, uh, phonomy, uh, dynamics, mechanics, and uh, the modalities of experience. It is not the time to enter in the detail, but you can check it now. On, uh, it, it, it is well known hmm, that it was a mapping hmm, of the uh, uh, Newtonian uh, functions, of the Newtonian functions, and uh, all the best because uh, Newton uh, had the capacity hmm, to produce those uh, mathematical concepts of physics in terms uh, near to uh, near to uh, uh, um, uh, uh, the last books of Euclid, hmm? uh, the analytical book of Euclid, without using uh, the Leibnizian notions, uh, which at the we know they are perfectly correct, but at the time uh, very obscure. Hmm? the, the uh, concept of uh, infinitesimal uh, production. So uh, he could map uh, uh, without the uh, 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 warrant uh, of uh, God veracity, but with uh, a deduction, 
immediately in, in the use of our uh, language, hmm, uh, an immanent position, and uh, that was a great, great achievement done by uh, 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 Kant hmm, to establish a, a mapping, a correspondence between uh, the uh, logical table of judgments and mm, uh, the mathematical notions which uh, uh, are the main concept of, uh, uh, of, of, of Newton. Hmm? And so it is what I encapsulate for today mm, uh, as uh, the reign of uh, philosophical Galileism, mm, a philosophical Galilean which developed mm, between Descartes and uh, Kant and which maintain a classical epistemology. Mm. And the formula of Kant, uh, we go to nature uh, 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 fitted with our concepts, hmm? with a uh, very classical uh, um, um, epistemology. And that was suddenly, hmm, was uh, 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 put in question hmm, uh, with uh, the consequences of Gauss uh, um, arithmeticization uh, of uh, um, uh, mathematics. Hmm? and his uh, opposition to Kant, and the real productions of a very important school of German mathematics, the Gothenburg School. Mm. And everyone knows that it was uh, uh, mm, uh, one of the uh, uh, most important mm, building pieces mm, of uh, modern, uh, modern mathematics. Mm. Uh, at the, um, uh, to put it in it, a nutshell, uh, at the core of what we, we uh, uh, arithmetizations of mathematics, which is extensionality. We don't consider a line as a whole, but uh, as um, a possibility uh, to uh, 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 pass from one point to another point, uh, to another point with uh, enough approximation. Of course, hmm? uh, of course, uh, uh, um, uh, between two real numbers, there is always the possibility, uh, what it, uh, uh, whatever is our approximation mm -hmm. to introduce another number, nevertheless, hmm? Hmm. it is enough for uh, the constructions of uh, mathematics. Hmm? And here we are both at the core of uh, mathematical inventions and at the core of uh, epistemological problems and how to uh, connect one with the other, that was the problem of Frege. Huh? And the idea of producing a Begriff Schrift, a Begriff Schrift. Huh? So uh, that is the second uh, 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 period. Huh? Uh, and uh, uh, Frege knew uh, it was a fella huh? and only, only, uh, 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 20 years after, hmm? Hmm? Uh, 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 in, uh, after the Second World War, hmm? the logical investigations are from 1916 uh, to 1923, uh, uh, hmm? he tried hmm? to recommence. Hmm? Uh, to begin again, to begin again to uh, mm, uh, his uh, project uh, of a Begriff Schrift mm, mm, with two main uh, 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 inventions on which I insist. First, mm, now it gives a specific importance, a specific place as an independent level mm, to what we call now the calculus of, pros of proposition as a basis hmm, on which to inscribe quantificational theory as different of a theory of concept. Just again, to put it in a nutshell, what had been the Greek solutions till Kant included to connect concepts and propositions? The solution has been always mm, with different details, I agree, but always the same solution, a predicate connection, hmm? a predicate connection. Hmm? So 
not only proposition and concept, but propositions and uh, an epistemological attitude, object and concept, uh, object and predicate, predication. Huh? So, uh, 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 predication, one, the analysis of uh, the content of a proposition. And you see here how in that epistemological context, the question of synthetic or analytic may be posed. Hmm? It is reasonable. Hmm? Is the predicate inside the uh, subject or is there a different kind of that uh, grammatical uh, uh, composition? Hmm? But outside, it has no sense. And so the opposition between uh, 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 Gauss and uh, Kant uh, uh, is not exactly is five plus uh, 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 seven equal twelve uh, analytical or synthetical uh, is if but it is that uh, five plus seven is not predicative, is not predicative. And we have to make appeal another kind hmm, of uh, uh, composition of content of uh, uh, cell of knowledge, cell of knowledge, hmm, which uh, fits with our uh, intelligence, hmm, nevertheless, is not at all predicative. And that was now the problem with which Frege was, um, was uh, uh, working. Just uh, come back to my text. All along 19th century, concept was a hallmark for philosophy as well as for uh, logic. Hmm? It was a transitional notion from language to experience. Frege Begriff Schrift and his later logical investigations confirm a propositional framing to be distinguished from judgment, so which does don't receive uh, the uh, 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 frame which uh, um, uh, Kant obtained from the logical table of uh, judgment. Uh, and uh, the question is, what is possible to conciliate uh, a propositional unit and a conceptual determination if not through predications? These predicament embedded in the spoken nature of predication was also at the core of Russell's antinomy. Hmm? No. Insisted in his first versions of the Grief Street, Frege's efforts toward a possible uh, identification of concept and function was tolerable because of its effective writing, crossed quantifications, and what we uh, call today extensionality. Um, I did not mention that uh, what Frege had in mind uh, was the use with arithmetics of recurrence uh, and no more syllogistic. Although, although, as everyone did at the moment, uh, mm, he, he felt obliged uh, to give a version of his own Begriff Schrift uh, uh, in Aristotelian terms. Uh, Aristotelian terms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, um, the, uh, the uh, use of quantifications uh, and uh, cross the quantifications uh, authorized <coughs> why and uh, the rules of uh, substitution authorize what Chomsky came, uh, called generativity, and you know that Chomsky wrote his dissertation on uh, Frege, uh, Russell Frege types uh, of uh, logic, hmm? uh, uh, thanks to a mode of uh, proof guided by rewriting rules. And uh, now, with uh, that notion of rewriting rules, hmm, we are. Uh, at the, at the uh, 
core of another problem which was encapsulated in the analysis of uh, identity. What do we do uh, we in an equation? In an equation, is that only a recognition as uh, the star of the night is the same as the star uh, 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 of the morning, and they designate such and such, mm -hmm. hmm? or or a possibility of substitution. Hmm? So that hmm, you may replace everywhere the second part uh, of the uh, equation where before you had written the first part of the equation. And so uh, a possibility of uh, development of producing new uh, proposition. Hmm? Uh, uh, identity was not a tautology, it was on the contrary a possibility to produce by substitution law, mm, uh, uh, which Frege extended to um, a more uh, complicated expression. I shall uh, give you uh, some uh, examples. Uh, mm, uh, the, the, the fact that uh, uh, from very, very uh, clear expression, you omitted by that uh, what I describe as a fractal composition, mm, uh, new um, expressions. I now uh, just uh, no, mm, I, I don't know where I put it. Uh, why does it matter? Oh, well. well, the, the definition of um, Here you have in the book matrix the definition uh, of uh, order. And uh, I wish to read with you uh, the introduction of Frege. The derivation that follow, uh, and just by substitutions, uh, uh, that follow are intended to give a general idea of the way uh, 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 in uh, uh, which our ideography is handled, handled uh, effectively. Uh, even if there are perhaps not sufficient to demonstrate its productivity. This utility would become clear only when more involved propositions are considered. Through the present example, moreover, <coughs> we see how a pure source, irrespective of any contact given by a chance, or even by an intuition a priori, can suddenly, from the contents that result from its own constitution, bring forth judgment that a person appear to be possible only on the basis of such, uh, such intuition, is mm -hmm. in the core of the matrix. This can be compared with condensation, distance, and I shall come back on distance. Condensation through which it is possible to transform the air that to a child consciousness appears as nothing into a visible fluid that forms drops. The proposition about the person does not, in what follows, far surpass in generality all those that can be derived from any intuition of the fancy. Uh, therefore, one were to consider it more appropriate <coughs> to use an intuition ID of a uh, sequence as a matrix, if it not follows that the proposition does not stand, which uh, might perhaps have the same wording as those given here would still stay far uh, um, uh, less than the thing they would hold only in the domain of precisely that intuition upon which they were based. And I'm sorry, it is not. Um, well, uh, it, it is uh, um, a formula. Uh, uh, I wish to insist uh, on. Uh, the pragmatic context of that explanation. 
you must build it. You will say. You have to express it. You have to use, transform uh, 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 um, uh, um, uh, substitution uh, uh, rules to obtain that from the beginning. Uh, and uh, also the, the word vision. Elsewhere, uh, in one of his articles, uh, Frager commands vision. And he notes that uh, <coughs> in his own consciousness, vision refers to two notions, condensation and poetry. Yes. Producing poetry. And you see that always he inserts mm, in his uh, writing the idea, mm, uh, the idea that uh, it is real life, producing something which did not exist before, which develops possibilities <coughs> of this language, <coughs> which at first sight uh, uh, do not appear. Hmm? Hmm. So uh, it is a moment for me to be sure to uh, note that Schroeder at Vienna, in the years where he lived, hmm, um, uh, between uh, the middle of the 19th century, uh, yes, hmm, to uh, the post war 20s of the 20th century, was at the core, in Vienna, of the most uh, vivid hmm, uh, place of philosophy, let us be uh, the fortress of conceptuality, hmm, of, uh, conceptuality but also hmm, uh, 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 in the center of. Uh, literary world mm, mm, with the heritage uh, of uh, uh, Goethe and the quarrels around Goethe, Kleist and uh, uh, other uh, uh, German uh, poets and also through his educa mathematical education in uh, Vienna was also uh, at the core of the best mathematical school of Germany and of Europe at the time. And you see the necessity for Frager, not expressed but felt, hmm, to combine hmm, that uh, uh, demand of a conceptual productivity, productivity and of a poetical productivity and of a mathematical productivity. It is very exceptional. And now we understand better why uh, uh, Frege, uh, it is, uh, I, I leave uh, the logical aspect for, for the moment, to see uh, that Frege had for students very surprising. Carnap, Scholem, Scholem, and uh, Wittgenstein, of course. And uh, uh, I know a letter of Scholem to Benjamin telling him, now in Germany, the best you have to do is to follow Frege. And you see in the correspondence between Scholem and Benjamin. Scholem and Benjamin. So uh, uh, the, the feeling that uh, the uh, intellectual means uh, which were in disposition uh, of uh, German intellectual uh, uh, was uh, blocked and nevertheless a conceptual demand, a political demand, a mathematical demand, mm, which uh, uh, Frege mm, uh, had to, 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 to cope with, had to cope with. Mm. And it is the reason why his allusion to the edition, his allusion to indirect language, uh, a new use of language was uh, on uh, the uh, on the, uh, on the uh, 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 agenda to free uh, the, uh, even the uh, 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 scientific expression of the uh, obligation to designate an object, hmm? to designate an object, and to uh, uh, free those units of expression of the assertive form, of the assertive. And that is the core 
of the third moment uh, of uh, Frege uh, in uh, his last uh, 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 effort, uh, uh, the logical investigations uh, uh, at the after the war, uh, at the end of the 20s. Uh, no more the research of a direct uh, expression of the grief uh, into uh, a, a, a written mute sprache, freed from the necessity of wording, uh, but to the contrary, the production uh, of uh, the, the uh, lib freedom of uh, new functions in our uh, languages which will permit that extension of intelligence which was required by the time uh, uh, mathematics. So I come to the last uh, moment uh, of Frege. No, that will be uh, my conclusion. I know that must go to my conclusion. Well, um, Frege had no time. Uh, to develop a suggestion he introduced in a fragment dated 1925-23, uh, we receive us as a bottle to the sea. Two terms were now required to explain his project. In 1979, he used to, as a comparison to explain what was the great shift, he, he, he told Ilsmittel, and uh, he precise it, um, uh, it was a metaphor, uh, in the mood uh, uh, of uh, classical philosophical Galileism mm, um, um, as a, a microscope to the eye. Mm. It, 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 it does not change anything, nevertheless, it is easier. Mm. It is easier. And now he, he, he breaks that kind of metaphor and instead of a bigger shift, maybe between us and Stum, mm? uh, no more big shift, mm? but a division into two terms, uh, 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 Ilsprache and Darlegungssprache, and I explain it. Mm? Ilsprache uh, means that uh, there is no way out of Sprache. We cannot prove, uh, it was a mere illusion to produce uh, uh, a concept writing. Uh, always we are in the condition of a sprache. Uh, nevertheless, uh, nevertheless, we must use uh, some kind of equations of function, etc., etc., to explain uh, 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 as a if sprache, to explain if sprache, what we had in mind as uh, the grief. And even that Ilfsprache, uh, we cannot write it immediately. Uh, uh, we are obliged to use Darlegungssprache. Darlegung in French, it is to negotiate with our uh, usual predicative vernacular language to present our uh, Ilfsprache. Uh, our Ilfsprache. And as uh, 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 I use now uh, uh, Platonistian expressions. You know that in the Phaedo, when uh, Plato explained that Socrates mm, just produced mythos, and now we must use logos. Mm. But, but, mm, 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 what is logos? Is it nature itself? Mm? Is it uh, mathematical uh, analogies? or is it our vernacular uh, 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 sprache? Uh, we are obliged to uh, try to charge our vernacular sprache of the two functions, uh, of the logos of nature and the mediation of uh, mathematics. Uh, I have some image on that uh, later on if we have time. Uh, and so the uh, uh, solution was to use our language and there, at the, on the spot, hmm, uh, 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 Plato invented the predicative negotiation. Uh, we are obliged to use uh, vernacular sprache as a second best. The Greek expression is deuteron plume, a second navigation. Hmm. 
The first navigation was a fail. Um, we try again. Hmm? Or, to tell it in better terms, fail, fail, fail always. Hmm? Fail more. Hmm? It is our situation. And uh, what did Trigger here is, no, no more Bridal Street, hmm? but uh, uh, two steps. Hmm? Uh, starting from our Darlingsprache exposition, the article, which at times was very inventive, which at times has been so periculous with the identification of uh, 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 concept uh, and, and intention. Intention is extensionality, concept is intentionality, to put it in, in, in a nutshell. Hmm? Uh, 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 to use um, uh, uh, um, uh, Darlingsprache to enter uh, an Ilfsprache, hmm? and it will be never finished. Hmm? Now we enter in an experimental moment, and it is exactly what uh, I wish to to uh, indicate. Maybe a more akin to the Dedekind expression: "Was in und sollen die Zahlen." Was in we don't know. But um, the, learn, uh, the learn for our operation, for our uh, capacity to develop mathematics. But the idea of Zalen, nobody knows what is, what is a number. Huh? We have only uh, numbers in use, hmm? numbers in use. Hmm? Right. And that was uh, 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 um, the, the last uh, word uh, of, of uh, uh, Frege. Um, I'd come to, to uh, give you um, the, 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 the last uh, comments, some last questions to which I'm finished. In uh, the late fragment of the, his Narlas, the Frege complaint is too long to editing the epistemological relation concept and object, which is so common to us. Hmm? Hmm? A Kantian structure, indeed, which had been matter of his own most read articles <laughs> and a warrant uh, for the first analytical philosophy. Um, others, among whom Merleau Ponty, did also blame <coughs> their too long on indulging the relation subject object. Mm. Did we definitely shift from a specific uh, 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 fetishist objecthood to a shared objectivity. Hmm? That is what is required now. Do we definitely accept the responsibility of our diverse linguistic performing and nothing more? Hmm? Uh, last question, uh, Frege uh, posed in, in a fragment of his diary is Denken nur ein Sprechen? We have developed the full range, uh, and, and uh, other questions. Uh, do we have developed the full range of uh, visual intelligence? Do we understand how far our means of vision <coughs> and language eliminate solipsism if we avoid uh, <coughs> communitarism, solipsism? Do we understand how far our taking care of the many ways of language and communication engage a vital and never finish responsibility hmm, and by a consequent design of our, as we say today, capacity of care, hmm? capacity of care. And I just finished with a, 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 a quotation of Wittgenstein, Investigation 18. Ask yourself whether our language is complete, whether it was so before the symbolism of chemistry and the infinitesimal notation were incorporated in it. For these are, so to speak, the symbols of our language. And how many hours or streets does it take before a tone begins to be a tone? How many language it requires uh, uh, and 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 uh, 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 take before a mind becomes a mind. I am finished.
<laughs> it's a great light here. <laughs> Dear Professor Amber, I'd like to thank you very much for your rich and thought-provoking conference. Your presentation has brought many points and has made the reference to many authors. I do not have the intention to touch on all these different aspects, nor on all these authors. I would like to talk about a question that, if I'm right, is present throughout your whole exposition, if I'm right. I talk about the relation between subjectivity, uh, thinking or thought, thinking or, or thought, and language. The distinction Frege makes between the act of thinking and thought is very well known. Thinking is an act of the subject who grasps a thought. A thought is the content grasped by the subject. In a certain sense, thought is not subjective, but objective. I would like to ask if the concept of function, the gender general concept of function, when we compare Frege to Kant, does not have also this double sense. On the one hand, function would be an operation of a transcendental subject. On the other, function would be something objective in the sphere of thought, of concept, not of thinking. If this is correct, in what sense can we say that language is a stratification of functions? You say in the paper and and here. It also, I quote, it's also affected our understanding of language. Let it be by revealing a stratification of functions. Are you talking here of function as a synthetic subjective activity? or as the objective unsaturation. About Kant, you say, I quote again, Kant's integration of concept under the logical functions of judgment, his notion of object, his transcendental phenomenology had prepared Frege's entanglement. I ask, how should we interpret here this expression, logical functions? This expression, exactly. Do they uh, do this uh, uh, coincide? with the Fregian usage of the expression. It's, it is the same sense. This is the first part. The, the, the second. In another moment, you talk about a graphic intelligence. A graphic intelligence. It's a important expression. Huh? Right here, intelligence refers to the act 
subjectivity of the subject or to the objective content. What is exactly written? Here is the excerpt, I quote again. The emergence of a graphic intelligence which today is not at the least a consequence of a process engaged with Frege's notion of a concept writing, Begriff Schrift, yeah. graphic intelligence. What is exactly written? This is the second question. A third uh, question. In another moment, you say, you say, as he, Frege, was familiar with the last developments of optics and could tell a virtual image for a mere illusion, he occupied a new mental territory where, where thinking, thinking is itself experimental not an experience of thought, but thought, not thinking. Now, it thought is itself experimental. Right here, I ask, right here, thought has the same exception that thought has in the other moment. I quote another except he, Frigg, now identified thoughts with an asserted propositional unities of language through which communication is obtained. It when able to be true or false, but being neither. In other words, preserving the distinction between thinking and thought. Develop Denken und Gedank. Huh? Developed by Frege. Experimental thought shall be understood as the act of thinking or as thought in the sense of a propositional unit. And now, at last, just a provocation, at last. The question posed by Frigg, ist Denken ein Sprechen? The question, no, the Frigg yeah. answer. Yeah. Could this question be substituted by this other question, ist Gedanken? Eine Sprache. Understand? Yes. Yeah. It's just, just a, yes. a final <laughs> provocation. These are the, the, the thank you so much. four questions. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Uh, uh, I thank you very much for your uh, reading and your questions, to which I try to answer now. And I, I apologize. Um, uh, I wish to give you another view of uh, Trigger's real uh, problematic, and I could only indicate some spots. Uh, I have been too ambitious, uh, uh, sorry. But now we have time to come on, on, on detail. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, you, your first uh, question uh, is uh, general on uh, 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 Certain language hmm, and cert, uh, in certain language hmm, and certain language. Well, well uh, maybe is it uh, the philosophical specificity that we uh, are all ambitious hmm, <coughs> to uh, get access, to have some access hmm, to a capacity uh, of thinking uh, fundamental. Hmm, uh, mm, uh, 
maybe uh, uh, Platonician ambition, mm -hmm. and the necessity, a philosophy does not exist without communication. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, it is a, a speeching activity, and it is not by a fact uh, of uh, uh, casuality that, uh, uh, well, uh, all the great philosophers have been professors. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and we go on. We, we cannot escape that situation. And when we uh, think about this, hmm? uh, Plato, a professor, uh, uh, Kant, and so on, uh, you know. Hmm? Uh, we, uh, so mm, uh, maybe we have not uh, uh, in charge uh, <laughs> uh, the ontology of nature, but we have in charge the way to uh, enrich and maintain thinking through writing or, or speaking. Hmm? Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it, it is uh, <coughs> what uh, has been chosen. So uh, I now come to your uh, fourth uh, question. Hmm? Um, uh, well, the ambiguity and the problem is uh, in the notion of function. Hmm? Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, mm, uh, uh, it is uh, who, in the very deduction of concept, uh, introduce a clear connection uh, between uh, something um, uh, in itself obscure, the functions of uh, uh, <coughs> the understanding, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, uh, are uh, expressed and uh, maybe noted mm, in uh, logic, mm, logical uh, functions, mm, for, mm, um, to which the uh, classical uh, functions, uh, <coughs> uh, mm, uh, classical uh, quantity and quality, Aristotelian, mm, uh, enrich with uh, relations, mm, relations um, in, in, in uh, classical age, mm, in, uh, the best being uh, explained in equation, which has enriched uh, our classical uh, vocabulary, but it is a Galilean import. Hein? It is a Galilean import, and then uh, uh, Newtonian uh, uh, confirmations. Mm, mm, and uh, something which uh, Kant himself added, modality. Not exactly, uh, because uh, the schema of the four function is in the mm, uh, logic of four royal. Mm, on logic of four royal, well, you have the four functions, but, but the fourth one is not modality, because four royal uh, uh, rejected the idea uh, of necessity and Open a, a door, open the door, mm, uh, which was uh, uh, suggested and occupied by uh, Pascal uh, probability, mm, which uh, 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 D'Alembert inherited. And uh, you know that uh, in Kant's uh, critique of Purgism, there are many uh, allusions against D'Alembert, everything but not D'Alembert. Is very, very severe uh, against uh, D'Alembert. Hmm? And uh, I come back on the origin uh, of uh, 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 that notion of uh, uh, modality or probability in the judgment, that kind of function. Uh, it was not just uh, a choice, uh, a free choice. No, it came from the translation of the Bible. You know uh, that Luther translation uh, 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 expressed uh, you will not uh, kill uh, as a law. Uh, man uh, is not allowed to kill. Uh, 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 a, command, uh, uh, a command, absolute command. Uh, in uh, uh, the translation of Port Royal, it was very different. Uh, uh, they respected what is called the biblical future, and instead of uh, you don't kill, hmm? don't kill, don't kill, the command, it is you will not kill. And so it means 
No, yes, no, hmm? you kill. But, but, maybe one day you will not kill. There is eventuality is open. Hmm? Hmm? And uh, I guess that all the uh, French uh, uh, enlightenment huh, was uh, 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 grafted on uh, Pascal probability, d'Alembert uh, probability, and maybe something other is possible. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And uh, it was that uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, used of uh, uh, inscription uh, of probability inside mm -hmm. the notion of a judgment which opposed uh, Kant's choice and uh, let us say uh, d'Alembert or Port Royal, uh, or Port Royal uh, uh, choice. And so uh, uh, we see that uh, uh, the conception of four functions of uh, judgment hmm, uh, 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 as something of uh, deep uh, epistemological and uh, uh, let us say ethical choice, uh, ethical or political choice. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, um, it was a way to shape, to, uh, to, to, to uh, enrich the Greek classification of judgments uh, and to shape a kind of modern attitude. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it is not so logical as it seems. Uh, as it seems, it has a, a deep, deep uh, uh, choice in itself. Uh, because uh, uh, the uh, expression uh, function for uh, uh, judgment is uh, in between uh, a physiological notion a function of the uh, organism, uh, how do we shape our attitude to our behavior, and an ethical choice, uh, and uh, uh, um, a, a kind of uh, a stylistic choice uh, for common sense. Uh, so it was loaded with uh, uh, many, uh, many, uh, uh, I repeat, functions. Uh, uh, and uh, by the way, he left often the possibility of uh, other choices. Uh, other choices. Uh, it is not so logical as we as we as we think. Huh? Uh, that is the first uh, uh, first uh, uh, answer to to your uh, questions. Um, now, uh, on the other side, uh, with. Uh, the uh, repetitions of the uh, mapping, uh, uh, specific account mapping, mm -hmm. uh, we see that uh, uh, the logical functions uh, prepare mm -hmm. the uh, strict analogy between uh, uh, not uh, nature philosophy functions or Newtonian uh, function. So he uh, gave uh, a metaphysical uh, 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 confirmation uh, 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 to what has been uh, just uh, negotiations in Descartes uh, uh, between concept and function. Concept and function. Or even in Galileo because uh, the, the, uh, Galileo gave a mathematical expression mm, to the notion of gravity. Before gravity, uh, yes, uh, it was a kind of quality, of quality that uh, uh, we could experiment uh, um, for everything. It falls, it falls on gravity, and now it had a, um, it was a poor quality. Um, near to a concept, uh, and, uh, and uh, now it has a mathematical expression. It is the reason why I use that expression, that the shifting from uh, uh, function to concept, or the assimilation of uh, uh, function and concept, has been, with different uh, understanding, but has been the specificity of philosophy in the classical times. Uh, a specificity which runs uh, with different uh, uh, 
uh, understanding uh, uh, from Descartes to, to, to Kant. Huh? A moment of uh, 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 philosophical Galileism, uh, which gave to European philosophy a very interesting expansion, of course. Huh? It was it, it, its way of survival, huh? mm, of, of independence, huh? to develop a philosophy of nature uh, in which in which um, uh, we may transfer to general philosophy uh, what uh, was a characteristic, uh, the, the way we, 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 we capture nature. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, with no opposition between mathematics and uh, experience. Huh? Uh, that, that, that is my, my answer, uh, my first answer. No? And uh, it is important to identify that uh, classical moment uh, because uh, the, the general attitude of phenomenology was, uh, was uh, uh, respected. Mm? Uh, I Finite I, something finite I moi, and uh, I uh, uh, can tell it hmm, Lego soy. Hmm, Lego soy. But uh, with uh, uh, a difference. Hmm, uh, my, uh, uh, what I uh, suggest here is that phenomenology, uh, which has been reshaped in modern times, is a long-standing position, the uh, basic position of philosophy. Mm -hmm. Something appears, and we try to express that behind the appearances, mm, there is a, nature, a consistent uh, nature. Mm. And, uh, but the, the, the correct expressions, as you know, all the cognitive uh, words, or quite all the cognitive words of uh, Greek uh, philosophy, are in the uh, specific mood, uh, um, medium, mm, uh, which we don't have in our modern, uh, uh, modern uh, uh, languages, mm, uh, la voix moyenne. Mm, uh, which express that uh, uh, every action has, um, uh, has an echo on, on the subject. Huh? And uh, the formula uh, for uh, Greek philosophy is finitai moi, lego soi. So we are in a position of dialogue. Huh? And it was long, it was uh, to uh, uh, transform uh, a moment of dialectic into a moment uh, of proposition. Uh, it was uh, the difference between the first dialogues of Plato and the so-called uh, uh, scholastic dialogues uh, of the end. Uh, and then it was written by uh, uh, Aristotle and uh, developed by the Stoics, but uh, that is another story. <laughs> another story. Uh, um, and uh, th this attitude, mm, uh, which is uh, sincerity of philosophy. Ah, you see, I say, hmm? finite I, I explain. Hmm? Uh, I, I told you why the um, habilitation of philosophy, hmm? although nobody knew really how we jump from finite I to the game. That was, of course, uh, the problem. And it had to be legitimated by uh, veracity of God or to be legitimated by the deductions of uh, uh, judgments. Uh, all that has been a new uh, qualification of phenomenology. But the phenomenology was respected, mm, that attitude, uh, which uh, the uh, historian um, uh, uh, Philippe Hartog did well characterize with uh, the, the, the position uh, of uh, the Greek historian uh, as uh, Herodot mm, was autopsy. I have seen by myself and I tell you. Mm. That was, a, and uh, you know that uh, Plato characterized his own enterprise as, as uh, uh, historia, it is in the sophist, uh, historia met epistemes. Mm. So, I, I borrow, uh, as, as Frege borrowed the language, I borrow 
the way of speaking of historians, not mythos, not tragedy, not poetics, huh, from historians, but metepistemes. Hmm? Hmm. Metepistemes, it was mathematics all the time. Hmm? And, and uh, so um, uh, e e that kind of uh, legitimacy was uh, for long. And it is the reason why uh, what you noted in your uh, third questions, but I had no time to mention, the interventions of optics. Uh, there is a detail I had no time to recall, is that Frege hmm, had been sent to, uh, he was a brilliant student in Jena. And why was it sent to the best school of uh, mathematics in Göttingen, far from Jena? Hmm? Hmm? Because he was patronized by the Zeiss firm. He was patronized by Otto Abbe. Mm. Otto Abbe who was a brilliant uh, optician, uh, optician uh, who needed for his own firm brilliant mathematicians. And so the young Schrager was sent uh, to, Yen, to Göttingen and came back. And soon after, uh, his return and his habilitation in Jena, he left uh, uh, teaching mm. and it was paid by the uh, Jena Foundation. Patronai mm. mm. uh, uh, has now sponsored uh, by the Jena uh, Foundations. Why? Why? Because the Jena Foundations needed uh, uh, that kind uh, of mathematics and of uh, uh, reflection, which was typical of Frege. Why? Because till now, the optical laws, let us say, um, uh, 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 time of Descartes, huh, were geometrical. Hmm? Mm, uh, um, very simple, in a way. Uh, very simple. But, but uh, with the use of specific lens, hmm, and those lens, uh, which were threatened by uh, some phenomenons of aberration. Mm. It means the, mm, the, the, the uh, 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 distortions of uh, 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 light uh, through uh, very, very uh, uh, specific uh, lenses and uh, a new quality of glass and uh, also uh, in microscope, mm, uh, two uh, uh, lenses, in cameras uh, also very, very uh, uh, different composition. Uh, please look on the web at the uh, Zeiss, uh, Zeiss uh, uh, firma and you will see mm, the inventions of very, uh, specific, uh, they were the best in the world at the time uh, to produce uh, 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 composed cameras and uh, uh, to fight with the aberrations. Mm? Mm? And uh, uh, here, uh, uh, these aberrations had to be understood, captured through very uh, specific functions, hmm? not uh, only a first, or first order uh, 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 equations as, uh, mm, um, uh, let us say, uh, conics, hmm? but uh, very point by point. Hmm? And uh, um, Frege was the perfect man for, for that, hmm? uh, for that. Hmm? And uh, yet, at the end, um, at, at, the, at the beginning of the, the third decade of the uh, 19th century, Fresnel, a French optician, had used imaginary, imaginary numbers. It means uh, what Gauss had just uh, justified huh? uh, to uh, uh, define those curves which the uh, light uh, 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 
followed in those very unusual milieu as uh, lens and specific uh, glass with minerals and so on. Mm. Here we are in the history of uh, optics. Mm. And it is the reason why it was important to mention uh, uh, the uh, connection of uh, Frege with the Zeiss Foundation, not only because it was sponsored, but by <laughs> it was a real problem. And, uh, and so, uh, uh, in Th that natural attitude that uh, um, uh, our visual domain was I I I constructed on analogy, on analogy, and most of the time, uh, feeble analogy. Fiable analogies. Hmm? And uh, in the 19th century came the evidence that uh, uh, even uh, the visual world, uh, uh, the visual world uh, had to be uh, had a specific uh, intelligibility. And uh, the graphic which were used as that of Freire. Hmm, are no more analogies. Hmm. Kant graphics kept something of analogy. It is the reason why I put in correspondence the uh, distributions of the four uh, 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 headings of, uh, uh, of uh, Kant, the Copernican uh, map and um, uh, the, the tricky processing uh, of Frege. We were yet in the domain of analogy. Mm. With modern uh, optics, mm. not modern science uh, as physics, uh, but modern optics, we are no more in the, m in the world of analogy. And so we, we are obliged to mediate our relations or to enrich uh, our uh, uh, visual worlds with uh, 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 diagrams and schemas uh, which are no more analogic. And by a kind of uh, implicit consequence, <laughs> our written, uh, uh, our uh, um, uh, uh, use of writing mm, uh, with uh, the f uh, phonemic translations of audition to visual mm, mm, was just a solution. Another uh, um, more writings may be uh, may be invented hmm? yeah. with uh, um, uh, in, in a world of non-analogy. Hmm? It is the reason why during the 19th century, as noted uh, yesterday, uh, uh, Professor Trendelenburg, um, um, uh, 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 so many logics were invented, hmm? Hmm. and. Uh, uh, uh I, I retain his expression, 19th century is tricky and dense. Mm. Between two languages, you have another language. Between two objects, you have another logic. Between a representation, you have another representation. Mm. Uh, and, and it was a kind of, uh, um, I tell it in French, vertige. Mm. Mm, vertige. Mm. And um, that is the atmosphere in which uh, you must think uh, of uh, Frege. But now, well, I uh, gave some answer to your second questions on graphic intelligence. Graphic intelligence. Well, um, uh, um, uh, true or false, mm -hmm. uh, the classical attitude was to tribute uh, Plato. I say true or false, because uh, I guess it is not true. Uh, to uh, tribute um, uh, 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 Plateau with the despise of the visual mm, to the benefit uh, of the uh, logical. Mm, 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 oh, logical huh? But uh, <coughs> if you look at the, uh, at the um, Of the cavern, you see. I don't know. 
works. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> you protest. But, uh, even if you stick to the uh, word of the Machiavellian, you see that uh, uh, the uh, Noeton, even in its grammar, You may conceive with the oraton. Both use um, uh, 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 verbal uh, adjectives, oram, uh, oraton, which means, if I stick to Benzema's uh, precision, uh, uh, the uh, verbal adjective of the Greeks means that the uh, operation <coughs> is, uh, thank you, is, uh, uh, is, has been. is the object of uh, 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 Oram, uh, you see, and the uh, Noeton is the object of Noeton, if it is in strict analogy, you see what I say, so that I'm being a bit sorry in, uh, of uh, visual. And uh, I have uh, much more. <coughs> yes, yes, I wish to, to find. Yes, thank you. So yeah, thank you so much. Ah. Yes. Uh, it is a famous uh, passage from the Sophist. You can check it. <laughs> uh, where Plato explains, uh, he speaks to his disciple. Thus, begin uh, to uh, distinguish in the art of production, for uses, in the art of production, <coughs> two parts. The first one is uh, divine production. The second one is human production. And I uh, note that uh, it is, to my mind, to my knowledge, the first use of uh, what we call in French tableau à double entrée mm, in philosophy, but of course a graphic a production. Mm. So here mm, you have two, uh, uh, the art of production, natural things mm, which are made by, by God as animals, plants, minerals, as fine water, and all of the kind. Mm. And the things which are made, for them, for them, mm. by men, mm. while stirring arms. Mm. And uh, so, so, so the real house where you live. Mm. But that is not enough. Now you divide the other way. Mm. The other way. And uh, there are things produced, produces, <coughs> and you have uh, uh, images, mm? idols, mm? images made by God. Well, mm? the uh, mountain which is reflected mm, on a plane of water, absolutely perfect, and it is image done by the God, and also the green in them. When you when you when you, when you uh, sleep or uh, shadow projected by the sun, so it is an allusion uh, to the text of the Republic uh, of the case. Hmm? Hmm. And now hmm, images done by men, and here is the word. Hmm? Logos is also an image. Synthesis, more uh, as the house, mm, uh, a synthesis, mm, and also the house which is painted by the painter. And you remember that in the Republic uh, it was absolutely content to serve after the God. And here also it is like oh, God do images and things do uh, images are symbol as the images done. There is a long tradition uh, of uh, a graphic intelligence in two senses uh, as a, 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 a communication, a 
traditions of uh, 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 analogical relation as in mathematics because it is not only it is to my knowledge the first cross uh, tableau uh, in the history of philosophy it's to my knowledge the first but also you have you see a real problem as art is today since is today and somehow we know very well what we are doing. Huh? And it is a program. It is a production of robots. Driven by force, by, uh, by process. Huh? Huh? Uh, it is a, 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 a hope to, to, to project the uh, system of Thales into the production, the production, creation philosophical language, which may be limited. Mm? They are not at all uh, mm? And uh, it is on that uh, background that I wish to uh, uh, legitimate mm? graphic intelligence inside philosophy. Because I have a test, a testimony uh, that text by uh, Plato, uh, which is not uh, a secondary text. Mm? Mm? Uh, I gave uh, Im images, uh, I gave examples in Kant, which is not secondary. Mm? I could, but uh, I have been yet too long, mm? but I could also give you uh, and comment uh, images from Descartes geometry or Descartes uh, optics and you see that it is a real substance of philosophical intelligence. Hmm? And now you may understand how Frege, hmm? uh, he says always, uh, you must look at my writing, you must follow it uh, from line to line, you must follow the substitution laws, hmm? the substitution laws. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <coughs> and uh, also, I, I quoted the, the, the term, the, the, the moment when Frege introduced in the comment of his own ideography, Dichten. Dichten. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, before you could not know. You had to uh, uh, perform it, if you wish. Mm -hmm. You had to perform it. Mm -hmm. There is a productivity mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that is a response to my second, uh, your, your second, uh, your second questions. Hmm? Um, well, uh, maybe mm, now uh, something more precise uh, on uh, that uh, last uh, um, uh, fragment of uh, uh, logical um, investigation, which. Uh, Kant could not, uh, Frege could not finish, where he introduced a distinction between, well, biographies exploded. And we have Hilfsprache uh, 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 and uh, Darlegungssprache. Uh, and Frege tells, in a way, I have been victim uh, of my Darlegungssprache. Uh, uh, I could explain in common language uh, uh, see the fascinating article, functional concept, and yes, we are convinced, mm, function is concept, concept is function, when we are in the, that article. Mm. And in fact, uh, and in fact, he had to understand that the function is used as quantifications or the um, uh, functions of uh, propositional uh, logic mm, are not of the kind of concept are not of the kind of concepts. Uh, it was a mere um, uh, spoken analogy. Mm? He, he was a victim of his own Darlegungssprache. Mm? Mm. Uh, before uh, going on, on that point, I recall that uh, and following uh, the indication of that uh, tricky and dense uh, 19th century, I, I, I recall uh, two, two historical points which are not uh, secondary. First, in the philosophical vocabulary. Mm? Um, 
the main uh, uh, term used by Kant in uh, the first critical uh, uh, text, no? Critic of Pure Reason, uh, of pure, of pure reason was Vorstellung for Representation. Mm? No. Mm. But later on, no? he, he added Darstellung. Aha. Darstellung is more tricky. Mm? It suppose uh, Vorstellung is just an expression of a represent, uh, representation. Uh, 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 Darstellung, uh, it implies uh, a kind of uh, poetical uh, composition, mm, uh, a strategy of uh, explanation, which in fact was uh, 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 Kant's production. Uh, it, it is a big piece of uh, a philosophical uh, literature and a complex one. Mm. We, we all uh, experimented it. Uh, it was really a Darstellung and not a Vorstellung. Darstellung, mm, and uh, 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 that term of Darstellung mm, is uh, also put to the fore <coughs> in the <coughs> long preface which uh, uh, Benjamin uh, gave to uh, his um, Baroque uh, book, uh, uh, The Origin of uh, Baroque Drama. Mm. Like drama, a very long epistemological preface, uh, quite difficult, uh, where he, he, he puts to the fore the problem of Darstellung, uh, of Darstellung, and says, because he knew very well Kant, uh, the obligation which uh, we are to uh, mm, mm, introduce a notion of Darstellung to understand uh, what is in the making uh, in uh, any text uh, of, of uh, importance. Hmm? Hmm. Then, he introduced the notion of Ausstellungswert. Hmm? Ausstellungswert. Hmm? Hmm? The, 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 the problem of displaying is by itself a virtue, hmm? a poetical uh, necessary uh, function. And so, in, in uh, some decades, uh, we jumped from Vorstellung, Darstellung, Ausstellung, Darlegung, uh, which is a term used by Frege. Uh, it, it is, uh, we, we, we uh, uh, of course, uh, we should like to express our thinking, begrief immediately, uh, and to write it. Uh, but we are obliged uh, to come through Vorstellung, Darstellung, uh, uh, Ausstellung, and uh, uh, Darlegung. Uh, uh, it, it is uh, v very important. But in the same time, as we uh, shift from uh, one uh, poetical mood to another poetical mood, uh, we cannot uh, uh, shift. Huh? We cannot shift. Uh, the modality of the expression change. Hmm? And what is uh, important uh, in the uh, mystery of that mm, uh, 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 dimensions of of propositional stance on which you are obliged to put mm, your begrief, huh, uh, to inscribe your begrief, is that uh, it is not asserted. It is always a kind of indirect language. Mm. And so it is <laughs> the place where the laboratory, the workshop of, of thinking mm, may, may develop. Mm. And uh, it is the reason why uh, um, I introduce, uh, and you noted it uh, in your presentation, but I had no time to explain it, mm, the idea that uh, here is the key of uh, any information theory. Mm. Uh, I, I come back to... Yes, when I presented uh, those diagrams, I noted the fractal uh, 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 composition, and I also <coughs> noted uh, that um, uh, it was the key to the alpha numerical order of Wittgenstein, uh, so a rich possibility of uh, expansion. Mm. But also, uh, uh, when you, you look at that kind of graphic, it is the anatomy of any 
real, possible, and future electronic uh, electronic uh, 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 transmission. It is what has been called for a moment. Now we don't use uh, any more uh, uh, that um, uh, expression, um, uh, algebraic hmm? uh, schema, algebraic schema. Hmm? It's a, the, uh, algebraic for any net, hmm? net uh, uh, electronic uh, transmission net. Hmm? Hmm. And, uh, and so, uh, uh, if we have uh, in my introduction, I talk very rapidly that uh, uh, reading Segel, we learn to uh, expand the complex functions of our language into different uh, uh, possibilities. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> the uh, aspect of communication, of exchange, mm -hmm. is uh, embedded here in that writing. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if uh, uh, there is a, uh, a, a mark of assertion has to be noted, it is that after you have no assertion, okay, have no assertion, here you have only a <coughs> development of uh, <coughs> uh, if then, but we don't uh, uh, assert the first nor the second. Okay. And uh, in, uh, uh, I may consider, I may say, uh, if, uh, as we were told yesterday, mm -hmm. if uh, uh, snow is not white, it is not a, a fact. All the counterfactuals uh, which have been uh, tested in recent uh, analytical uh, philosophy, and uh, the whole domain of information mm -hmm. and not assertions has a development in that kind of indirect discourse. I report, I don't assert. John told the doings of a street of his village. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that, that whole domain of uh, 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 what is called now all information is to our responsibility, mm -hmm. to our responsibility, but we cannot neglect it. It is so, so, so important mm -hmm. to develop mm -hmm. uh, all the And it is what appears. Uh, I have no time. Uh, I, I tell you that uh, here I have the German text if you wish to take it. But the last uh, fragment uh, of that uh, fourth uh, logical investigator, where you see the vocabulary of communication is important. And uh, I am obliged to give you uh, all those facts <coughs> together. Uh, maybe you know or do not know that Morse, the man who invented uh, the electronic telegraph, not the telegraph because it was invented before Cartal and so on, no? yeah, uh, no, the, the, the telegraph was a printer. And he, 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 he went to American printer, very famous and good American <coughs> printer, he went to Paris, he copied in the Louvre some uh, very classical paintings. Uh, uh, it was a substitute to the travel to Rome because the paintings were, were, were there. Mm? And uh, back uh, to America, uh, on the boat during the travel, uh, he invented the Morse uh, communication, the Morse communication as if he knew very well that what was in the painting, uh, in the painting huh? of course, was not at all imitation. Hmm? 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 But uh, it was a kind of indirect language. Hmm? 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 Uh, something I, I present to you, I don't assert. I don't assert. Hmm? 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 And uh, if you uh, 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 think to the moment when uh, Representation as assertions, mm. and maybe uh, 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 a false one. Uh, so you must be uh, cautious with I I images. Uh, the moment when it was just 
presentation and not assertion in direct language, to my uh, knowledge, is the, the, the manifest is in Watteau, Enseigne de Gersin. Maybe you know the painting. Hmm? When Watteau represents in a fantastic uh, painting, I have no time to, to catch it, um, uh, uh, the interior of a gallery where someone is uh, some years be before the French uh, Revolution. Right? And it is uh, in that uh, great, uh, magnificent, uh, maybe you know, Enseigne de Versailles, right? to your knowledge, I think. Right? Uh, it is on the wall. Right? The, uh, the some paintings are helpful to be sold, hmm? to be sold, people come to see the paintings, and, right? and uh, someone is putting the portrait of the king in, in, in a box to be sold. <coughs> to be sold. And so it is not the king uh, uh, presented in all its uh, powers, but it is an insult. And it is really a moment when uh, uh, what has been uh, <coughs> demanded as the freedom of uh, speaking or the freedom of painting is only that it is a place of the, an uh, experiment of thinking, an uh, experiment of poetics, and a necessary, a necessary uh, one. Right? Right? The moment when uh, uh, images shifted from a representation of the real to the experiment of the graphic image. And it is exactly what uh, Frege was uh, requiring for uh, his, uh, his uh, Bugri shift, uh, the expression is suspended and developed with, I did not enter in the details of uh, quantification theory because I suppose you know it and it was not the place to make a course on uh, quantification theory. Huh? I guess, right? uh, it, it means that, uh, well, you will develop uh, till the Argoïcène uh, day with more and more information, and it is just at the end that you will say it is true. But all the time you develop, huh? that's the uh, question. Huh? Huh? And it is the reason why you name the Greek and so on and so on. Uh, 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 and, so on huh? and it was that, that moment where uh, uh, he, he, uh, he, he felt he was obliged to use. Uh, let us say, a sprache dimension, proposition. But uh, uh, he, has, he had this man, the Greeks, and they don't fit, because he will not use a predicative, uh, predicative or a judgment, uh, a judgment uh, connection, as did the Greeks, as did Frege, as we would uh, 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 Kant, uh, in that sense. He had to be free from the necessity of judgment. And to, but to develop uh, in the way we human may follow uh, a reason, uh, may think uh, in all the dimensions of the language. And just at the end, uh, <coughs> you, you, you will say, yeah, it is. Uh, it can fit. Uh, and it is that whole uh, expansion, it is the reason why in an article, so, uh, it is by honesty that I quote myself and not uh, more. Uh, in, in an article that is developed that uh, 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 information and communication has been used in all the world today as a very novel genre, Pascal and Frege. Frege is the rule of the writing mm, and that Of uh, information is a second best. I, I, 
the writing of my picture. I don't know. I don't like to guess. Hmm? Hmm? And uh, the uh, argument uh, of Pascal was that uh, uh, it is uh, according to the information we have, hmm? we may choose. Hmm? And that are the two uh, uh, philosophical pillars of information. We are always in need of information, and so we have probability to our judgment, and uh, on the other side, we are in need, in, in, in darligun possibility, and so we develop uh, language possibility. Out of the uh, latent functions of our language, which is the reason why I quoted Wittgenstein at the end of my presentation because Wittgenstein did on the floor, just they are finished with their languages. Hmm? Hmm? What is the kind of uh, 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 completeness hmm? we may uh, advocate? Hmm? And it, it could be also uh, an argument to be considered that notion of completeness. Hmm? A Kant told, yeah. My logic is complete. And Carnap uh, uh, ironized about the lack of dialectics. Uh, it is not a good answer. In fact, within the kind of predicative logic to which Kant had given, he was absolutely right. He had completed <coughs> logic with modernity. You could not add anything. Why? Uh, it's not possible. It is only uh, in uh, 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 leaving the attitude of judgment, uh, the strategy of predication and judgment, mm, which flows, uh, that you can develop uh, other logic. Mm. And so it is another mm -hmm. kind of completeness, not the completeness of the system, but the completeness as far as the Gods of information, and here you have not necessity, you are not what is suitable. I, I, I quote uh, Wittgenstein, uh, a grammar gives <coughs> you the sufficient dimension, not the necessary dimension to express uh, experience, but just the sufficient dimension to, to live or to, or to, or, or, or to speak. And we are now in the world of uh, uh, information and now in, not in the world of uh, uh, the judgment. Hmm? Because uh, there would be incomplete facing the whole problem uh, of uh, uh, information. And I guess that it is in giving a, a noble genealogy to information that now we may escape uh, the fetishist addiction to information. And uh, it, it may be, uh, it, it is a reason why it may be useful to read uh, that uh, dirty text, which is very important, but so important for us. Because it was an effort, a stellar, and a solution. Hmm? Uh, and that was the question. And um, I guess that uh, all our modern questions do, do, do pass for that corridor. Hmm? Hmm? Well, I now come to your questions. Merci beaucoup, euh, Claude, pour votre euh, riche, très riche conférence. Euh, je voudrais vous faire, euh, je ne sais pas si je euh, vous suivi dans tout ce que vous avez dit, euh, je voudrais faire deux questions. Oui. La première, euh, si je vous bien compris, euh, 
vous avez identifié une un grande erreur dans euh, la, la philosophie de Frege, qui était euh, le suivant. Euh, C'était l'erreur de concevoir euh, l'équation comme un jugement de reconnaissance. C'est-à-dire d'identifier, yes, si yes. vous voulez, euh, l'identité et, yes. et le, le reconnaître. Exactly. Yeah. Euh, euh, comme, comme tout le monde le sait, euh, cette idée est fondamentale pour le, le, le Grundlagen, l'idée de précisément de concevoir l'identité comme un, un jugement de reconnaissance. Euh, je voudrais euh, vous demander si... Euh, si euh, si l'équation si n'est pas un jugement de reconnaissance, qu'est-ce que c'est une équation yes. okay. Thank you. Thank euh, you. L'autre question est euh, par rapport à, à, à l'usage de, de Wittgenstein de, du, du, du paragraphe 18 de la uh, 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 euh, du paragraphe 18. Yes. De, euh, à, si j'ai yes. bien compris, vous avez euh, utilisé cette, euh, ce, ce paragraphe comme, euh, euh, pour défendre l'idée que, que notre euh, information euh, ou notre système d'information, ils sont toujours incomplets. Mais euh, je crois que Wittgenstein, dans, dans ce passage-là, il veut dire précisément le, con, le contraire. Bon, très bien. Il, il, veut, il veut dire que... Euh, nos, 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 nos jeux de langage, ils, ils sont par contre toujours complets. Euh, qui même le, le, le jeu de langage numéro 2, euh, il n'est pas incomplet par rapport au notre langage. Il est, il est un système complet. Et tous les, langages, tous les jeux de langage qu'il développe dans les, dans les, les recherches philosophiques, dans le, le philosophical investigations, euh, ils, sont, ils sont complets. Si, euh, ils sont seulement incomplets d'une autre perspective, mais ça ne veut pas dire qu'ils sont incomplets en soi-même. Ou, ou dans, ouais, je voudrais seulement. Thank you very much for your questions. I, I appreciate. Uh, the first one on identity. Uh, you know, later on, there have been some great discussions on the way we must interpret quantifiers as loaded with um, uh, ontological import or just a suspicional value. Well, I guess that now the question is solved. Uh, even Quine was so uh, uh, eager to defend uh, ontological import, recognize that uh, it is better to understand it as suspicional value. And so the, um, uh, if you uh, uh, takes uh, identity as a, a recognition of an object. Uh, well, uh, uh, when you say the star of the morning and the star of the night uh, define spin, yes, it's a flow, and you are inside uh, usual epistemological views. Uh, if you say the left part uh, 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 may be rewritten uh, as uh, in, in the second. Uh, it means that everywhere with uh, the, the first part is written in an equation, you may uh, <coughs> substitute it the second part, and you go on, and you go on in the proof. In the first time, it is flow, it is finite, and, and you have a judgment of experience in a way. In the second part, you are just in the course of a substitutional process uh, and in the course uh, of, of a proof. And it is the reason why Frege, uh, of course, uh, uh, now I, I miss some material, uh, in his writings, uh, 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 here you, you have an example. Here you, you have uh, the indication of the substitution which may uh, 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 effect charge in the formula. It means that in the uh, in formula 12, everywhere I have A, I may uh, uh, read uh, 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 that develop formula C A. In place of C, I may write D. In place of D, I may write that. And so you have the development of a proof. Uh, in, in, 
Jerry Roman Bobo and not just uh, uh, Ivory Conal. We are in uh, uh, exactly like shifting from a universe of phenomenological intentionality and recognition to a universe of ah, maybe ah, ta, ta, etc. Huh? <laughs> and that is an absolutely important uh, uh, quantification and must be understood as a substitutional process and not an ontological deliberation. Uh, uh, our transmission now uh, is very paltry because it we, 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 uh, when we read the formula, we say exist X, uh, so that for uh, uh, each uh, I group, X is great and, uh, and so on. Uh, we, we use the vocabulary uh, of existence, which is false. Huh? And Schlegel was uh, more prudent with the expression in German is uh, es gibt, huh? uh, uh, which means uh, in case. Uh, which uh, is gift. Huh? No, that is my, my uh, it has been definitive huh, to uh, discard vernacular language, Darlegung, uh, Sprache from, uh, from uh, each, uh, each, each part. Huh? Uh, uh, no. uh, that is my first point. Well, uh, there is my third. Read the, the um, uh, the lecture, you know, Warren Goldfarb has been the first to, no, uh, no Chevalet, um, Claude Cheval has been the first uh, in the 40s to explain what Schlegel gave to algebra is gamma, huh? so possibility of expression. And uh, Warren Goldfarb, I guess independently, the Harvard philosopher told it. Huh? No. So th that question is now and for the second one, it is the difference between complete and uh, sufficient. Huh? Of course, what Wittgenstein absolutely uh, invented and thought, uh, huh? each language game is sufficient. It does not mean uh, something more. But it does not mean that the root domain of language is complete because we may add new uh, language chains. Huh? And it, it is, I guess, the meaning of the last uh, quotation, the famous uh, Saoda uh, Aetim de Aetim. Huh? I guess it was not a contradiction. Huh? And uh, uh, please uh, come back to the beginning of the investigation, where uh, Wittgenstein, strangely enough, gives the long Latin quotation of Augustinus. Mm -hmm. uh, marvelous text. Uh, and uh, where, and then he, he comments, but uh, it is not a good example of uh, uh, language game. Nevertheless, it, it works. Because uh, uh, it was yet a language game. And it was a language game because it was uh, a kind of tacit exchange between Parents, the boy, and uh, he was learning the names of the objects he would desire. Huh? And in the uh, invention of uh, 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 Augustinus, I guess that it was a new illustration of um, uh, one uh, expression which is in the biblic lamentation. Manus mihi tortis as omnia dei de manibia regus. Hmm? Hmm? The boy huh, is looking at the fruits and uh, he learns the names, but he wishes to, to, to forget. Huh? It was the comment of the origin of grasping in the um, uh, epistemological uh, vocabulary. Hmm? And uh, uh, the, the other, uh, lang uh, let's say, coming language games. Um, will uh, give uh, some alternative hmm, to that attitude of grasping. And as the question <laughs> of grasping has been its echo in epistemological is, as we noted uh, yesterday, uh, you see how we shift from one language, language game to another. And the language game, which uh, 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 Wittgenstein enumerates in the 18 uh, paragraphs are 
could be similar to the one uh, Dr. and Mrs. Lee is having. Uh, and uh, that would be my, 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 my answer. Uh, uh, in, in, the, in the case of language, huh, uh, it, it is foolish to think that we may find the first always in shifting from or developing uh, other language game bigger and finding other languages. But the most important may be once we lose uh, that with language games, uh, we are not in the situation that someone can an object, but in communication. Yeah? Uh, someone propose and uh, someone hears. Uh, uh, well, it is a, a good moment of, of communication, I am not trying to give. Uh, what is important is rather that we shift it from the position of a reader to the cause. You know in Aristotle, uh, critical means reader, uh, 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 to the position of production. Uh, uh, and it is uh, marvelous to see uh, graphic invention and style he had to reflect to produce the pages, uh, the pages of, uh, of uh, the Bezier tree and in uh, the fragment of the last uh, uh, medical research he insists on the art and the shape um, of the letters are very important and also the graphic disposition and uh, uh, with Wittgenstein, uh, so we, we, we shift also from the position of the reader to the position of the producer. You know, what if, what if uh, is always inventing new uh, language game. Uh, and uh, uh, it is one of the necessities of uh, the moment of information that the two interlocutors uh, uh, shift from the position of uh, a new reader to the performative position. Because uh, uh, intelligence is uh, exactly, I think, entering the workshop of the production, of the poetry. I, I don't know if I answered to your question. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, yes, well, thank you. Um, so you stressed the importance of, or, or of the graphic intelligence in, um, in Frege's Begriffsschrift. And you illustrated that by, um, by many means, but I, I don't want to get into that, but uh, suggesting perhaps that it was leading to uh, the the uh, uh, the Dalegungssprache. Yeah, that was, was yeah. that there was some element of that. Yes, so yes, so yes. I got that right. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is also this other aspect in in in, in the Begriffsschrift. I think in it, it's not so often stressed uh, that actually it was part of a of a movement that we find in in the uh, late 19th century people wanted hilfsprachen like the uh, hilfsprachen auxiliary languages yes, yes. and and the begriffsschrift is actually one of these attempts i mean we can consider it as one of these attempts yes. for example the volapük the yo uh, the esperanto uh, and uh, and, and Frege was absolutely. well aware of these of these bewegungen absolutely. And we find it even, I mean, we were talking yesterday of Humboldt. Uh, uh, in Humboldt, we find this expression of Begriffsschrift, and it is also in, in Trendelenburg. Uh, so, yes. so there is this aspect, I think, uh, uh, th there is a strong focus on, on the Hilfssprachen. I mean, I, I see what you, what you suggest, but uh, don't you think that there is perhaps an element here uh, which is important in the development of the Begriffsschrift that Frege is trying to develop a Hilfssprachen. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, um, thank you very much. Uh, uh, it is something also um, I, I uh, would like to insist with invention or with production is to uh, be replaced in the moment of uh, rational uh, internet 
personal uh, uh, language. Uh, uh, everything was formed in the 19th century. Uh, uh, from Volapük to Esperanto to Carnap uh, 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 project uh, uh, and so on, you're absolutely right. And yes, uh, I know that uh, you find Brunel's face in uh, um, other, other contexts in Fundamento. And uh, it is also why uh, yesterday I, uh, I asked you the questions on uh, Humboldt, uh, Humboldt uh, yes, the, the Humboldt uh, edition. Uh, everyone was uh, 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 eager to find new languages, uh, new languages, uh, more rational or more detailed and so on. And uh, also, uh, uh, I, I just insisted on the uh, uh, intervention on graphic languages, which were no more uh, legal by analogy. But uh, I agree totally with you. And uh, I guess it may be uh, uh, an important part of our, and concrete part of our uh, philosophy. But that was just a suggestion. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Humbert. And let's have a lunch now. <laughs> Thank you for your patience, because <laughs> I know that I prepare too much, and I just give you some spots. But mm, I felt it as a depth to you <laughs> to give um, substance. <laughs> mm.